finally the wait is over as AMD has announced the new 6000 series GPUs and yes just like their CPUs they are hot and by hot I mean hard enough to burn the Nvidia's butt. So in this video we are going to talk about the same and we will be also comparing some specs. So stay tuned and let's just talk about their new architecture which is actually same as their previous generation it is 7 nanometer based but it got some really nice stuff. So let's just talk about their infinity cache which is actually consists of 128 megabyte of on time memory which is going to help in memory intensive tasks and it also going to reduce the DRAM bottleneck. And the interesting thing is that it is alone responsible for the 40% performance increment in the RDNA 2, which is a really big thing. And talking about the performance per watt, the new RDNA 2 is going to be 54% better as compared to the previous generation RDNA. And the new GPUs by AMD are also pretty power efficient. But we'll talk about that later and amd has also partnered up with microsoft to give you direct x ray tracing variable rate shading mesh shaders and sampler feedback for high quality visuals and talking about the performance as compared to the previous generation the rdna 2 is going to be twice the performance of the previous generation at 4k resolution so now let's just talk about the new 6800 xt which has 2250 uh, megahertz of boost lock, 16 gigabyte of GDDR6, not X memory, and 300 of 300 watt of TDP. So on paper, it actually looks pretty good. Then at 4K resolution, it is actually pulling up to 142 FPS. And in games like Forza Horizon, it's 138. In Modern Warfare, it's 91. So let's just compare it with the and in head to head comparison with the 3080, the performance is actually pretty same to be honest. As you can see in most of the games, uh, it actually performing pretty good as compared to the 3080. But if you look at the bigger picture, the performance is actually pretty same. As you can see in games like Division, it actually not performing that good. The performance is same. In Modern Warfare, it's 91 FPS. So it's slightly better. And if you just compare the 1440p performance, then it's also pretty same. As you can see, in games like Doom Eternal, it's actually pretty same. In Battlefield 5, uh, the performance difference is pretty much, but that's the only game. So it all just comes down to the pricing. And AMD has also announced their Rage Mode, which is actually just a one-click overclocking. But the performance increment is going to be very less it's just gonna be uh, like one to two percent performance increment which is not much but amd has also announced their new smart access memory so talking about the smart access memory in case you don't know processor can only access a fraction of a graphics memory at once limiting the system performance but with a smart access memory the cpu will be able to use the full potential of gpu memory removing any bottlenecks and it will actually gonna increase the performance by 11% in most of the games. So using the smart access memory and rage mode combined, the performance increment is going to be up to 13%, which is a really big thing. And they have said, and they said this is when developers didn't even optimize it for their games. So in future, the performance is going to be even better. So talking about the pricing, the 6800 XT is going to be coming in November 18th, and it's going to be priced at 649. And it's actually competing with the 3080. So yep, now let's just talk about the RX 6800, which have 2105 megahertz of boost clock, 16 GB of DDR6 memory, same and 128 MB of infinity cache, and it has 250 watt of TDP. So if you look at the benchmarks, as you can see, as compared to the 2080 Ti, as you can see, it is actually really good. And even if you compare it with the 3070, uh, the performance is gonna be better. But you have to note that these benchmarks are running with smart access memory enabled. But talking about the price, it's going to be priced at $579, which is $580. And it's coming on the same November 18th. But this is not enough as AMD has also announced the new 6900 XT, which is going to be competing with the 3090. And has the same boost clock as the 6800 XT, which is 2250 megahertz of boost clock. 16 GB of GDDR6 memory and 300 watt of TDP. AMD also showed that in terms of performance per watt, 6900 XT is 65% better as compared to their previous generation which was RDNA. 
And now talking about the benchmarks as compared to the 3090 the performance is actually really good as you can see in most of the games is actually pretty same but the pricing of this gpu is going to be thousand dollars and for that price it is actually competing really good and these benchmarks are actually with smart access memory and page mode enabled and if you look at the bigger picture the 6900 xt is actually performing better in terms of gaming so RX 6900 XT is gonna be available on December 8th and it's priced at $1000 which is $500 less as compared to the 3090 so it's gonna be a really good competitor. But the only thing they talk about in their launch is the gaming but when it comes to the productivity AMD didn't actually show any kind of benchmarks like any rendering times or anything like that. So I think their GPUs are gonna be gaming based but when it comes to the productivity we don't know anything like if you are a content creator then should you buy these I don't know so just wait for the reviews so yes that's it for this video guys and if you just simply like this video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button that'll be really helpful and I will see you in the next one till then peace out.